What's up guys, Power GPU here. Finally got the Gigabit HD 6850. Um, we're going to go and do an unboxing on it. Um, as you can see here in the front, very nice box design by Gigabit. Um, of course everything AMD DX11. Um, as you can see here, this is the Gigabit reference card, so you have dual uh, fans on here, so it keeps it 29.5% lower on temps, which is very nice. Um, you get a nice three-year warranty through Gigabit, which is nice enough of offer. And of course, you get a one gig GDDR5 interface on this card. Um, if you look here on the back, you'll see that it's showing off the Ifinity support for the multi-display technology, which this one here supports the three monitors. Um, it shows here a picture, just to give you an idea on it there again. And then it just gives you a little here, uh, you know, display as far as how the you know cooling works on it, how it vents in, and then it, it the pretty much it has a rear exhaust on it, so everything comes out through the back. All right, let's go ahead and do an unboxing on this guy here real quick. It's got a very very nice box here. Alright, so as you can see here, it comes with the AMD uh, drivers, not ATI anymore. Um, it comes here with the manual. It's a pretty big manual here. A lot of to read. Uh, everything's, of course, in well, Japanese and, of course, in English in the first uh, few pages. Let's go here to accessories. You get your Crossfire Bridge. You get a 4 pin Molex to the 6-pin adapter and of course you get your DVI to VGA which uh, that's always standard. Move on to the card. So move that out of the way. Alright, as you can see here, very nice design. Both fans here. Nice uh, aluminum casing there for the uh, heat sink on top of the GPU. And of course in the back, unplug these real quick. The dual DVI, HDMI with 1.4, so it supports the full 3D, and your DisplayPort adapter there. Alright guys, so this was just a quick unboxing on what I'm going to be benchmarking here. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them at the bottom. Please subscribe again, guys, and stay in touch and stay tuned for the full review on this card. I will be posting it on my uh, PowerGPU.com website, um, the full review there with pictures and some few benchmarks in single uh, monitor first. Then I will be doing Ifinity support. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. PowerGPU signing out.